Skadoosh! Welcome back, ninjas. I'm Joey Moss of Bad Boy Gaming, and we are going to open an oddity I came across on eBay. It's called Magic the Gathering Sealed Boosters, Gathering the Magic Bags Purple Edition. Now that I look at that title, I have no idea how the heck I found this thing. Maybe I was I typed in Magic the Gathering Boosters, you know, Magic the Gathering, and just search, you know, Magic the Gathering Bag. I mean, I don't know. I just look for the most odd things on eBay Magic the Gathering related. Usually it's like a mystery, you know, MTG mystery, and I search on eBay. Well, this time I came across this. A little more expensive. It's $70 each. I ended up purchasing not one, but two, because I wanted to really get a feel of what all I could get inside of one of these things. The seller's name is Rare Gaming. I do not know Rare Gaming. He does not know me, but I'm sure after this video, he probably will know who I am. So let's get into what he's selling here. Rare Gaming is selling, it looks like repackaged, um, or maybe like a, like a assembly of a bunch of booster packs thrown all into like a grab bag. And here you can see a bunch of them sealed up. Uh, looks like he's got at least, I'd say, 50 there going on. And uh, there's another image of it. Booster Pack Legends. 50 tradable game cards are up inside of this. Legends is worth some good stuff, man. Ranging from, I think, 300 to about 400 on average is a booster pack of Legends, if I'm not mistaken. And then you get into the higher value when they start getting graded. I think I've seen some selling for like $1,000, depending on the grade of it. That's really neat that they, um, he, he has one of these possibly up for grabs inside of here. Uh, there's feedback that was left here. It's always good to see that kind of stuff. And that's just like, I guess, his little seal, seal he's using on this. All right, so what exactly is it, um, and what are the odds? What are we looking at here? What are Magic the Gathering booster bags? They are sealed, opaque bags that include multiple sealed booster packs from different Magic the Gathering sets. They are designed so every buyer can experience a chance at opening something really special. I've never opened a booster pack of Legends before. I don't know how many of you out there have, but I never have, and that would be special if we ended up getting one. What is the Purple Edition? Bags contain three boosters from modern sets. A hundred bags in all, okay. Uh, have been custom made and sealed with one bag, including a sealed Legends booster. That is insanity. Why do we make these booster bags? Because Rare Gaming likes likes to make magic as fun as possible. Boom! That's right. Make magic fun again, baby, because too many people take it way too serious. Let's try to have some fun. But also, this is like, um, you're dumping some money into something like this. So you do got to be careful. That's why I like to go out and I'll purchase these so you don't have to. It's that simple, you know? It's just that simple. Each pack has been designed to offer a unique and fun experience to the buyer. They are all sealed in opaque bags that prevent us from seeing who is getting which booster. See pics of the bags already sealed. All bags will contain three booster packs that will be all different from one another. No duplicates in the bag. 100 bags have been made, etc., etc. There are about 20 different boosters used to fill these bags. Here are just some of the packs you can expect to see. Guild Pact, Fifth Dawn, Rise of the Eldrazi, Dissension, Battle Bond, Modern Masters 2013, and 2017, Lauren, and Morning Tide. Almost all the boosters in these bags are from sealed boxes that we open to create these bags. The rest are from our inventory of loose packs. All packs are unsearched and in very good condition. Some of the oldest packs might show signs of normal shelf life, but no damage. Buy more than one bag and shipping on the extra bags will be free. Hooray! I bought two. Uh, all bags will be shipped secure inside a mailer yes they have i have it right here it looks like it did arrive pretty good i don't see anything wrong with it i just put some tape here to cover up addresses so that is what we have ladies and gentlemen i'm really curious to see what's inside of this i hope you guys enjoy if you enjoy these kind of videos and just the rare like odd, not even rare but just odd things people sell out there and seeing if it's worth it to even purchase it by all means subscribe and uh yeah and i'll be seeing you guys very soon yet again let's see what's inside all right, let's see if we're going home a loser. <laughs> I mean, there's no two ways about it. I'm either gonna do, I'm either gonna do good, or I'm gonna do terrible. I don't, I don't, I don't know. We're gonna find out. Uh, maybe I'll break even. I have no clue. But uh, yeah, getting a man, this is hard to open. Getting a booster pack of legends will be just insane. <clears throat> All right, let's find out, guys. Is it worth it to buy one of these? I do like the packaging on this. Just from the images, I thought it looked pretty darn neat. There's something else in here. What is all this? Apologies for the eBay vacation setting mix-up. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot about this. He was on vacation. 
when um, uh, he contacted me after I purchased this, and he's like, hey, just so you know, uh, eBay didn't put up the alert or whatever, um, or I forgot to set it. I am on vacation. Like, he just left. And I'm like, no big deal, man. Just, you know, just get it back to me. He's like, I'll give you 10% off. I'm like, even better. You know, he offered. I'm like, sweet. He has no idea who I am. I was just a regular Joe to him. That's all he knew. And uh, he sent me this as well. Apologies for the eBay vacation setting mix up. So we're going to look into that. On top of a 10% discount, whatever this is, let's find out. So here's what we got. We get a load of that. That is pretty sweet, man. I think that is nasty sauce, just to look at. One for the thumbnail. What do you say, guys? One for the thumbnail. That is really, really cool. Okay. Is that good for the thumbnail? That is great for the thumbnail. Maybe two. Ooh, maybe two of these. There you go. Do we want two in the thumbnail? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. How about like that? All right. We're killing up enough time here. All right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Let's crack it open. I'm going to pull this off camera a little bit because I, I want it to be a surprise with all we get. And I want it to be a surprise for myself as well. So I'm honestly not looking at when I do this over here. Can we open it up, please? Okay, let's just open it on top. You know what? Let's do it the right way. We're just going to open this sucker on top. And then uh, I guess we, we'll just take a look at the very top pack and then slide them over. That way you don't think there's any hocus pocus going on here. All right. Ooh, oh, it comes even in more sealed stuff. All right. They really do seal the crap out of this. Wow. Okay. That's what we're getting so far. All right. Bam. I like how they do that, because then I can just slide out right here. First pack. Oh! First pack is Rise of Eldrazi. Holy smothering tithe. This pack alone, I think, goes for about 25 bucks, roughly. I did a little bit of research beforehand, so let's get to cracking it, man. See what's up inside. $25 booster pack. We did spend 75 in all, um, so there you have it. Prophetic Champions Drake. This just takes you back some, too. Brood Birthing. Hmm. My girl's about to give birth. Hooray. Repel the Darkness. There's that. Ooh, the Umbras. I don't know what it was about the Umbras. I never really liked them, but there are some good Umbras out there. That's for certain. Got a Hippo. Venerated Teacher. Death Cultist. Yeah. Get some. Sacrifice Death Cultist. Target player loses one life and you gain one life. Yeah, that's, that's something. Lone Missionary. Poor guy. All right, here's our uncommons now we're getting into. Interesting sauce. Skittering Invasion. You all got Tree Speaker. Sweet artwork on that. It's got the whole level up abilities. These are like things you just don't see anymore. They don't do level up no more. I know they did it in the like the Modern Horizons. They have a level up card in there, which actually is really good, but you don't see it too often. Level up for two, and then again, you can level up, and then again level up. Pretty nasty. Curse of the Wizardry. Cool. As Curse of the Wizardry, it was a battlefield. Choose a color. Whenever a player casts a spell of the chosen color, that player loses one life. All right, all right. Keening Stone is our rare. For six, five, tap it. Target player puts the top X cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard, where X is the number of cards in that player's graveyard. All right. It's like the Battle for Zendikar thing, isn't it? Is it like one of the same there? I don't know. We got a mountain. Oh, I thought we had a foil in the end there. Just some rules. Oh, we do got a foil. Sweet. Shared discovery. Additional cost to cast, share discovery, tap four untapped creatures you control, draw three cards. That is something, Bob. That is something. All right. Nothing too uh, insane there, I must say. What is here? Oh, my gosh. Lauren. We got Lauren, darling. Um, these are going for, I think, 30 bucks a pack. All, no, 30 to 40 bucks a pack for a pack of Lauren. Very low print run on these. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool to see. And I don't believe I've ever opened a pack... Of Lauren. Am I saying that right? Lauren? Sure. Um, ever. So that's cool. When it comes into play, return target non land permanent to its owner's hand with the invoke. All right. Tarfire. I do remember seeing this. Pretty cool. Because this is, ah, oh, yes. I, I like that artwork. One of my favorite arts is actually from this set. I wonder if we could pull it. It's not worth a m bunch of money, but still cool. Kithkin Great Heart. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Might be live today also on Twitch, guys. So make sure you check it out. Link in the description of every video. Uh, I got Warrior. Lash out up in here. Oh, yes. Root grapple. The old tree folk. Destroy target non-creature permanent. If you control a tree folk, draw a card. That's crazy that you can destroy something in green. I'm just pointing that out there. Usually you can't do that. The Dodger. Dodgeball. Great movie. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody. Uh, Wings of Valis Val. The old chain changling. That's right. Target creature becomes 4-4, gains all creature types, and gains flying its own turn. That's legit. 
I love going through these older cards, man. Just seeing all the different artwork, you know? You just don't get to see it anymore. Uh, Flamekin Brawler. All right. The Face Vaulter. That's hilarious. Is that like Thud? Sacrifice a Goblin Face Vaulter. Oh, <laughs> that'd be funny. Just Face Vaulter. You know, like how you have Thud? Oh, my God. That'd be fun. Rebellion of the Flamekin. Whatever you clash. Clash was a thing, huh? That's insane. Clash. Glenn Alandra Pranksters. What? It's a fairy wizard. Whenever you play a spell during an opponent's turn, you may return target creature control to its owner's hand. Okay. That's legit. Knight of Meadow Grain, the Kithkin Knight. First strike and lifelink. Deuce, deuce. That probably saw a lot of play in this time, I bet. Really neat. Profane Command. Nothing insane. Pretty decent, though. Choose two. Target player loses X life or return target creature card with converted mana cost X or less from your graveyard to play or target creature gets minus X, minus X until another turn. Or up to X target creatures gain fear until end of turn. Pretty nasty. All right. There you have it. That did see a reprint not too long ago. Last pack. Looks like a master's pack. If we can open it. Can we open it? Yeah. Hooray. It is Modern Masters. This is the 27... Not, yeah, 2017. If I'm not mistaken. These packs, I think, are about 15 bucks each. If uh, I could be wrong about that. So value-wise, you add it up. We got 35, 25. I think we broke about even, I'd say. Maybe did a little better if we were buying these cards straight out right. There you have it. Um, and Torch Knuckle Knuckle Pack from Singnit all up in here. The Urban Evolution. What are we going to get? What's the hit, baby? Opportunity. Evil Twin. You may have Evil Twin on the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except it gains for two, or Demir, destroy target creature with the same name as this creature. All right, that's something. Graceful Reprieve is our foil. All righty, all right. So that first one, not too good, but value-wise, the value is in here from that first pack alone. The value had, uh, it's in there. There's, there's no denying it. Those booster packs, I know the value of them within like a few bucks. And uh, yeah, it held up. So there's that. What is up inside of this next one? Alrighty. Judging by the surface, doesn't look like a Legends pack is in here, but that is okay. We got to this pack first. Oh, there's something shiny up front though. <clears throat> Masters 25. These ones are a little cheaper. You could pick up Masters 25, I want to say, for about $10 a booster pack. $10, $11 right now, I believe. Yes. All right. There you have it. Ooh, they feel so different. Nice and smooth. Very nice and smooth. All right. Enjoying it. Enjoying it. Um, there we go. We started with our uncommons. We got Twisted Image. Lore Scale. Cool. Ash Barons. Great uncommon from this set. It's going up in price, too. I think it's about 3 bucks each, so not bad. Oh, God! Thank God! I was sweating my butt off, man. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna go home. I was gonna have to call the wife and be like, "Oh, baby, I'm sorry. I can't. I can't pay the rent this month." But we just pulled an Imperial Recruiter. We just. Oh my God! Yes. All right. Hey, when I, I just spent 140 bucks, I was hoping to get at least something back out of it. <laughs> uh, for uh, for three, when Imperial Recruiter enters a battlefield, search your library for a creature card with power two or less. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Very cool. Oh, and a foil blightling. Uh, blightling. Not bad. We did pretty darn good, my friends. Pretty darn good. We got the blightling. All right. And a skeleton token out the back. Yeah. Picking things up. All right. All right. The excitement's real. It's real. What is this booster pack right here? Let's give it the old slip and slide. Fifth Dawn. All right. Fifth Dawn. Not too bad. I think this is about 20 bucks a piece. Uh, roughly. I, I might be wrong on a fifth on one. Don't quote me on that one. All right. Wow. Really cool. Really cool. Doing good. Taranex. That's a beast. He could have been a dinosaur in a past life, but he's not. There you go. Cranial Plating. Oh, man. This card sees a hack ton of play. Really sweet card. Equip creature gets plus one plus zero for each artifact you control. Then reduce, attach it. Equip for one. Very, very powerful, man. I see. A, I, I've actually lost a dex using that quite a few times. Lose hope. That's what happens when you go up against plating. This was a very good set. A lot of these were. Helio feel. That sounds weird. All right. This chick. <laughs> he man, I have your power. Ooh. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Stop it, guys. Stop it. Thermal navigator. There you go. And um, we have fill with fright. I like slow playing these cards because, uh, yeah, you never know. Um, it's just nice to see the older stuff. Viridian scout. 
Pentad Prism. Plus, I left Magic for a while, and then I came back to it. So, um, yeah, I didn't see a lot of these. Mana Geyser. There you have it. What is up with that symbol being faded down there? Anybody know? Can you give me any details about that? I don't, why did they do that? I just don't understand. Uh, Iron Barb Helion. I can't block. All right. Pharaoh. Pharaohpede. Is unblockable. It's 1 1. If your deals combat damage to a player, you may remove a counter from target permanent. Uh, I could do something. Viridian Lore Bearers. Target creature gets plus X plus X on a turn where X is the number of artifacts you control. All right. Oh, God! Whoa. <laughs> I'm going to the Sizzler, baby! <laughs> Bust out the birthday suits, honey! You're getting some! Oh, my God! Yeah! Ugh. All right, pulled the Crucible of Worlds, man. That is sweet sauce. From the OG set itself, you may play land cards from your graveyard as though they were in your hand. I might even send that sucker to get, to get graded right there, there. I might just do that. Woo, man. Man, that's good. Feeling great, man. Wow. Opening's been off the hook so far. Last two packs were nasty. And then we got Dissension. Good old Dissension. What's going to come out of Dissension? Oh, man. I don't know if we could top those last two packs. That was stupid. I mean, we could have pulled a Jace, of course. That would have been bigger out of that pack. But, wow, man. I'm really liking this. I am really liking this. Okay. Helium Squirter. Don't get me started. Uh, we got Karam. Oh, we got Karam. All right. Seal of Fire. Anthropic Eidolon. Is that where all the Eidolons came from? Was this set? Utopia Sprawl. Great card. I actually made a few modern decks, and I do play with this if I'm running green. It's true. And uh, you combo that with, um, what's the one elf? Arbor Elf. Yes, I think. Whenever Enchanted Forest, Shepherd Mana, Control Animal Mana. Wait, hold on. No. No, it's just a perk. Never mind. Wrong card. Think of something else. Rakdos Ixpeter. Pretty legit. Thriver. All right. Shielding Plaques. Cool. Vespal Goal. Nice. The Enigma Eidolon. Gob Hobbler Rats. Oh, man, they don't make the cards like that anymore, do they? It's like a different time. Jagged Poppet. It. <laughs> it's funny. As Jagged Pop It. All right, we'll take it, man. Uh, Mistral Charger. Deuce One with Flying. Now we have cards that have uh, that are a two three with Flying uh, that are rare. Um, the, the latest from the one of the latest sets. It's nuts. It's just nuts. Uh, Plax Manta and Spout It. What is this? I never even saw this before. It's a Plant Hydra. Sprouting Fitho Hydra. Fetho Hydra, what? Okay, P Fido, Sprouting Fido Hydra. Plant Hydra Defender, when Sprouting uh, Hydra is dealt damage, you may put a token into play that's a copy of Sprout. Oh, that's kind of like uh, that Raptor card. That's pretty cool. That is very cool. Very different. I don't know how much play that would see, though. So, I mean, uh, uh, it's probably really slow to get to do anything. All right, so he sent me something as, as a whatever um, for being cool to him, I guess. Um, it just says again, sorry for the vacation mix-up right there. Uh, accept us as our apology. Rare gaming. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh, whoa. That looks kind of old. What is that, man? Hold on. Um. Uh, okay. There's, let's make sure there's no, nothing here. Nothing personal. Okay. Um, more fun offers, repacks, and deals are coming soon. Subscribe. Okay, 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 I get it. Alpha or beta repack customers. If you want any high-value cards, please mention them in your feedback. They can We can track those cards because of 75% of the high-value cards uh, are gone. We'll end the relisting. Wow, they, if that's how they're doing things, man, that's pretty good. Kudos to them. Uh, I feel good about this. And here's what they sent me. I think this is a beta. A beta prodigal sorcerer. They hooked it up with a, a legit beta prog. Let's see if it's real, because I've ha I've received fake stuff. I've received fake stuff before. This is crazy that they did this. I mean, this might be like a five ten dollar card. Who knows? But nonetheless, it was nice that they went out of their way and did that. Because um, yeah, it did take over a week and a half for them to get around to shipping this, and I was really excited when I saw it. I wanted to open it right away. So there you go. Yeah, that's uh that's legit, and it's in pretty darn good shape. So, wow. Uh, I got to say, hats off, man. Uh, I guess for good quality customer service experience. 
Uh, yeah, I think it was worth it to me. Usually, um, I give people that I do these videos like a nope and I get ripped off, you know, but I did not make my $150 back or 100, whatever it was. There's no two ways about it, but, um, customer experience was great and opening stuff that I normally would not, uh, you know, and having just the excitement of that, I think was, uh, was worth it to me in my, in my, um, my feels, you know, there you go. Rare gaming. All right, guys. Um, yeah, leave a like button and uh, go skadoosh yourself. Let's get ink.